right, guys, we're back. Um, I am going to be playing this same for Relegated team again. I just want to get in a couple of matches with this team. Last game, uh, yeah, it, it was a it was also hyper offense. But uh, yeah, Dragonite at the end, uh, me me losing Hippowden was a big deal. But the problem was my my settlements got way too low from uh, icy wind that I didn't couldn't defend anymore against the. Um, I couldn't defend against the um, scissor, so I had to let go of scissor. But I, I didn't, I, I didn't have uh, Joyce Benedino. I didn't mind, cause yeah, at the end without Hippo and with Porygon being that low, I obviously get swept. I actually get to face that same guy. Okay. So interesting. And we're gonna lead with Borregon in this one. Uh, this time I'm gonna smash him. <laughs> this time I'm actually going to smash him. Elis Elis Rodom, and it's completely fine. Um, I also get this, get the boost, the boost. But I can just go for uh, discharge, weaken this. Uh, if he evolt switches, that's fine. But is it gonna come in on this chart, right? Metagross or Scizor, but Metagross, I don't mind. And if I damage Scizor, that would be nice as well. Like the worst thing he can do is get up Stealth Rock. But I weaken this because he's definitely running speed on the Met on the Metagross. But I can just keep discharging. Like, the Psychic doesn't matter too much. See, it doesn't do much. But last time he got the special attack, uh, a special defense uh, drop on me. And I can just go into Salamence here. Metagross is low now. I don't expect him to have a uh, bull bullet punch on the Metagross. I might also stay in with Met uh, with my Weavile later on. Uh, there isn't really a double he can make versus me because I can always switch out versus his his team, so it doesn't really matter. gonna roost there and I know this is leftovers Rodom probably bringing in guard jump or something I got dragon knight but I have a hip out and So we don't care too much about this. Unless he has Aqua too. <laughs> and that would be fire though. I mean, he does go for Dragon Claw. Get some good damage on this guy. I assume Rotom comes back in. Now he just got Serp. I do have my Oregon here. Next time on his Rotom, I can defog. But I wasn't sure whether he would go into Superior there or not. That's why, I, and I wasn't sure whether I'm was faster than his Rotom. Oh, this is completely fine. So, are you sub glare? Let your sub. Or your sub seed, I see.
He missed. Cool. Gonna go weave all here. I'm gonna double into Mance. He has three switches. He's at, almost at full HP, so he, I, he shouldn't be fearing for Shu too much. That guy's crazy, though. Going for that play. But because he's sub seed. Because he is sub seed, I can kind of stay in for Sim. I didn't think he would stay in there. That's kind of crazy. Because I, I I expected him to use substitute. Because he was using sub, and if if I defog down the substitute, then he wouldn't get the evasiveness boost. Uh, so now I have to pray that I connect this against this attack. That kind of sucks. Okay, that's that's kind of annoying. I did get the Metagross low, so I'm actually going to stay in there. He missed, and I get in my Weaver, and yeah, now I have to pray that I connect. I only need to connect one, because uh, if I connect Icicle Spear overall, it's going to... I get all the hits on him. So I just need to hit here. That's crazy that he stayed in. It's really crazy that he stayed in last time. Like, he had his three switches, he was full HP, so even if I do did go for Pursuit, he wouldn't die. But he decided he didn't need his Pokemon, I guess. Uh, Weavile versus Metacross. I know he's max running max speed, max special attack, so... I need to know if I can knock him out with Icicle Spear. 20. Those are three hits. Okay, so I could potentially knock him out with three hits. Uh, four hits is a guaranteed hit, KO, and three hits is a, is a roll. I, I mean, if I can avoid Stealth Rock that way, I will, will go for it, man. Only two hits. Because I knew, st I knew he was going for rocks. But if I got four hits there, I would kill him. And I know he goes for rocks. Okay, I still have this Mon alive. We have Relegator as well to KO this. And the question then is, am I keeping this to kill Garchomp later on? Because he got rocks up, so that means Salamence. Um, I could have gone Salamence directly but, as well to defog spam versus him. That way he would never get a, bro a stealth rock. But I only need rocks for Mance anyway. Because in this situation, I can definitely imagine him going for Sword Stance. Actually, I think it's better to go directly into Relegator. Because if he doesn't, if he doesn't go for Sword Sense, I get my Salamence in, and then I can Defog or, yeah, exactly. Because now I can just get a strong Waterfall of course the same. I know I'm faster. This this won't flinch, but this will get the damage of on the guy.
Weavile first Scizor. I need to know if Ice Shard knocks him out. Ice Shard will do... At least 18 points. Okay, this is Ice Shard will also be a kill. So Rotom comes in. But now Scissor is not Source Dance up. And anything on my team can kill Scissor. Oh, but if I have Porygon in, that's a different story. So I don't know if it's HP Ice or HP Fire on the Rotom. I imagine his team being quite weak to Scizor, so I think it's HP Fire. That's the case, I'm gonna go into Ments and Debug. If it's HP Fire, his Scizor is low enough anyway. In case he was expecting my Hippowden to come in, uh, that's basically the reason. So I don't need Stout Rock to win. I'm going hip out in here on Bullet Punch. He has to. He cannot afford me to let. He cannot afford to let me debug or set or roost. But that's a weak Bullet Punch. We can easily take this. We're still not into a KO range of Dragonite, and we have a, we have some sacks. So again, I can make I can pretty much make the same play by sacking this. He doubles, that's fine. I still get damage off on him, and now we can go into Hippowden again. I'm just gonna slack off there. I don't need to stall rock because Dragon Claw could two it KO me. I'll go Breloom, because if I can uh, heal Porygon, that would be awesome. Because he Volt switches, cool. I didn't want uh, him to catch my Porygon on a Volt switch, because I need I need a recover off that. That's my win condition. And I just need to find out what kind of uh, guard I'm dealing with. This life orb is this bandit. Um, Breloom versus Breloom versus Garchomp. I just need to know how much Dragonfly is supposed to do to me. This might be Scarfed. I'm gonna sec Weavile here. Cool, now I got a free um, free healing move off. It's like I said, guys. Oregon plus Hip out and would win me in this scenario, because as long as I have as I have these switches alive, I also have Stealth Rock up myself. Uh, meaning that Dragonite cannot do this 
infinitely. And he now he defogs, uh, which is cool. Because I have Rocky Helmet damage with my Hippowden. So, in that case, it doesn't do too much for him. He uses Hydro Pump. Those are two Hydro Pumps, by the way. But I can just kind of Ice Beam spam on him. Uh, I wanted to click Ice Beam again, uh, but uh, that's whatever. I don't, I don't think Ice Beam will not come out. Earthquake could do a lot of damage, but Ice Beam won't be a kill. Not a guaranteed kill. I'll try this again later, but uh, we'll do it with Rocks up. Surprised that he went for Stealth Rock that way, but this is like the same scenario uh, we were in. I can definitely see him Volt Switch here. But with Borrigan being full HP, I think we're still fine uh, if he Volt Switches. And he. Defox again. Um, the moment he's out of Hydro Pumps, I can stay in with Hippo versus Sims as long as I don't let this Pokemon die. But we can still try Ice Beaming on his Switch. So I would appreciate if we don't miss here. <laughs> yeah. That would have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But this might be Scarf Stealth Rock or something. Just gonna keep recovering here. So this was indeed Scarf. I just I just didn't want him to be Choice Bandit. That's why. Um... Outside of 2-8 KO range, so I'm gonna earthquake. Uh, I'm gonna ice beam there. I think it's Joy Scarf Stealth Rock. I did not come out there, so maybe it was naive. The hippo play, maybe he doubles back into Rotom. I'm not sure if this guy is running super power though. Ah, oh, he stayed in. Cool. But it's gonna take Rocky Helmet Chip. I just have to stealth rock here. Uh, because if he makes the Volt Switch play now, um, he's gonna come in on rocks, take Sandstorm damage, and then he's basically guaranteed dead. I can go into Rotom now, uh, into Porygon now. He needs a debug. Like, he, he Volt Switches here, but this is completely fine. Oh no, he crits me. Are you, are you serious, dude? 
Are you actually serious? That crit is so annoying because Hydro Pump is pretty close to actually doing something to me. I can definitely see him doubling back though. Um, but I think this is why that crit sucked. This is why that crit sucked. But Porygon can still take an attack from Dragonite. It just needed to be full HP. How much is Super Power gonna do to me? Porygon. Dragon Knight. Um, Adamant plus one. Super Power. Being at level 50, Super Power. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Superpower is gonna do a shit ton of damage. So I, b I basically need to be at full HP uh, knowing this. I, I think we just style rock spam. Because if I'm at full HP, I can still knock out Dragonite. He needs to. Um... See, that's, that's why the crit sucked. Cover. He's defogging here, hundred percent. But I know my Rotom will beat him one for one. I just ice beam here uh, to try to freeze him. Uh, it's whatever. We'll just try something. But yeah, he's probably lacking superpower on his Pokemon. Recovering here then. He volt switches here. Uh, good for you. He also needs to knock me out with uh, super discharge Porygon versus Dragonite. How much is discharge doing? Discharge is doing this, this to Dragonite. It's not gonna be enough. It's probably pain. No, it's hidden power. So okay, it's not pain split. I just weaken this. If I can catch the, it's gonna be a 50-50, But it's not pain split. It's still paralyzed. Uh, if he. Maybe he goes for Volt Switch now, uh, knowing that I maybe want to weaken him with Discharge. Maybe he wants to Volt Switch into my Discharge, so he can knock me out with Super Power. But perhaps the Dragonite doesn't run Super Power, uh, but I, I think he will. Yes, he has Scissor with Close Combat, but I still think he will. Can, but Dragon Claw, Fire Punch, Extreme Speed, Super Power, that's very likely. We'll find out. <sighs> Such an annoying position to be in. 
But if I actually Ice Beam the Garchomp on this, that's why I'm surprised that he went for Stealth Rock. Because if I did Ice Beam the Garchomp. Because oh, I was really thinking about it, but um, didn't happen. He went for Stealth Rock. So, kind of surprised. Also not BP Max on this. Oh, it's not Bane Split, because it cannot be. He's using Defog and Hidden Power, so... Oregon would want to win this. I only need one Ice Beam for Dragonite. As long as I'm staying outside of um, range of superpower, uh, that would be fine. Okay. I see what he's doing. He's just letting Rotom die so he can get in Dragonite to superpower me. So probably on a turn he dies, he's gonna click Hydro Pump or Volt Switch. Maybe Volt Switch actually. But I just need to be at the maximum HP I can be. He's gonna Hydro Pump me or Fault Switch on the last one. I'm gonna Ice Beam him here. I don't wanna have him surprise me with a Volt Switch. Because I know Ice Beam crit won't kill him. And it's still doing a bit more than... There it, there it is. There it is. After leftovers, I would still not come out with Discharge. I would still not come out with Discharge here. But I would be at, a, at the maximum amount of HP. But now I guarantee live superpower unless he crits me. But I think he would only be able to knock me out with the combination of Hydro Pump and Superpower. But that would mean he needs to hit Hydro Pump. Yeah, it does have superpower. So unless he crits me, I'm pretty sure we, we live. Yeah. So that, fr that freeze was kind of huge. Definitely saw what he was doing there. But if he didn't crit me, I would have lived two Hydro Pumps with Porygon. I would have been able to live two Hydro Pumps. But he crit me with Volt Switch, which meant that I had to let go of Hip Out and then rely on my um, my Porygon to win this game. But yeah, that was kind of insane. We had to play around that. I really that crit with Volt Switch. Because he if he went for Volt Switch we would have been fine. Dragonite would have came in on Stealth Rock and Dragonite would have died. So he needed to defog first. He needed to defog first. But I would I wasn't in a position where I would live two hydro pumps from that HP. And then I could just recover. But the Volt Switch crit just made sure that I couldn't live. Uh, but I couldn't also risk uh, losing 
Because after that crit, I couldn't li risk losing Corrigan there. I could have prayed for a miss, but that's not... Yeah, it's not reliable enough. But, yeah. <laughs> that freeze at the end. That was kind of what I was aiming for as well. Like, I was trying to catch Dragonite, but I was also trying to freeze the Rotom. Because I needed to, I needed a bit of something. Uh, because of the position I was at. Like, freezing the Rotom would also mean... Freezing the Rotom would mean that I would be at full HP. And uh, maybe catching Dragonite on a Volt Switch uh, meant that I could knock him out and just win with... Uh, in with my Oregon. I'm also surprised. I'm also surprised that he went for Stealth Rock with Garchomp on my Porygon. Because if I did go for Ice Beam there, it would have been annoying for him. And yeah, I did. I didn't get. I only got two hits on the Metacross, which meant that he was able to get up Rocks. Had I gotten more hits, uh, he wouldn't have been able to get Rocks with Metagross at that point, and that would have been super huge for me. And because of the stealth rock, uh, my elements couldn't stick around. But he was running double rocks as well on the choice guard, Garchomp, most likely, so it was also a bit strange. Uh, but I, I, I didn't know what kind of Garchomp it was, of course, because if, had I known, of course, I could have gone Hippo, but I didn't, so I let I let go of my balloon. But yeah, in hindsight, though, maybe I could have let go of Weaver at that point. Uh, like, had I stayed in with Weavile against the Scizor, I would have been in a better position. Because then with Ferelegate, I can just knock him out with Waterfall. Because he did go for Swords Dance. Um, Ferelegator, unfortunately, wasn't able to knock him out. With Rocks Up, he could have potentially died. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And yeah, leave a comment down below, join our Discord server, and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next vid.